welcome to Abstract Boss. Today I am going to do a review of the JS Elephant Mold. This is what came out of it. So if you'd like to see how I did this or hear about the mold and what I thought of it, then stay tuned. If you couldn't tell by my background decoration, or by the giant elephant art piece I did here, or by the tiny elephant art piece I did here, then I guess you do not know me very well yet. I love elephants. I also love sea turtles, and you can also find the full process video of that one here. But I digress because today is all about elephants. So my friend Denise and I love to share art supplies and do artwork together, but the military is moving so many people I love this year, and that includes her. I am so sad, but last time she came over, she let me borrow this amazing mold from JS Molds, and so this is not sponsored. I didn't have to buy it either though, so it ended up working out amazing. And I'm so extremely grateful to Denise to letting me borrow this and trying it out and seeing whether or not I want to go ahead and buy one myself. So here we go. I am using Faux Rizzle UV Plus Artist Resin today. And I'm actually trying it out for the first time with casting. I've done a couple artworks with it and I will do a review on that product later. I want to wait to do the review until I've had a few different types of projects with it. So that way I have a really well-rounded review to offer. The colors I'm using for this mold art piece are all from Patty's Pigments. They're teal, crystal ruby, and crystal sapphire. I'm also using a fine gold glitter that I got from Walmart. If you're not sure how to mix the pigments, then check out this video here. I show you how to mix all types of pigments. To begin in the mold, I am just randomly pouring the pigmented resin throughout in no particular order. The closer to filling the elephant I got, I decided to pour a large chunk of glitter in the middle where the flower was in an attempt to hopefully be able to have that flower stand out against the rest. And I do say it worked pretty decently. Then I poured the remainder of color and clear resin on top until it was full. The only part that hangs over is the uh, gap in between the legs. You could do a thinner pour and have more holes throughout the whole thing. Um, it's kind of layered with a bunch of different levels, so if you were to pour it extremely thin, you're not going to see all the depth within the mold, but you'll be able to um, have holes. So I guess really it just depends on what you are going for. I will continue the time lapse and let you watch the process, and I will come back when it is closer to being unmolded.
Okay, so this mold was extremely easy to unmold, like ridiculously easy to unmold. I did not use any mold release and I did not have to add any Dawn Gist soap or anything like that. I loved it. Now let's talk about the levelness. My garage is super unlevel as it is. Um, I think that's, you know, if there were to be water inside the garage so that way the water could run out but it has caused so many issues with leveling out any mold before. First time this was used, Denise had difficulty filling it because it was so extremely unlevel. I didn't even think to level out the elephant before pouring, so Denise and I had to team lift onto a piece of wood and then leveled it out and it was all good. This time, when I used it, I placed it on a piece of wood before beginning and also leveled it before beginning. And I had no issues at that point, keeping the entire elephant leveled. There literally weren't even any areas where it was slightly higher in one spot over another. It was all so leveled, so perfect. The resin I used on the other hand was not a casting resin. Like I said, the faux rizzle UV plus is just a normal, um, top coat resin. So there were quite a bit of bubbles that couldn't release from that thick of a pour, but the mold itself had no flaws and it's glassy. Overall, this is most definitely a five out of five star mold in my opinion. I would highly recommend it. And don't forget to check out in the link below with my Facebook group, how you could win one of these awards. I started a Facebook group for all of us resin artists to be supportive and uplift one another, help each other out with projects, but also challenge ourselves, learn something new and win an award along the way. So if you haven't heard about it yet, definitely check it out in the description below by clicking the link and going to the Facebook group. I'll see you there.